Hey everyone, welcome back to Bread Box Racing and 4x4. This week, I'm buying so much stuff. I'm buying this. And I'm buying this. I'm buying all of this. Well, not the hammers, but all the rest of it. And a bunch of these. As well as all this stuff. And these! Also this. And this. And both of these. I think we're in Langley. It might be Surrey. Or it could be Abbotsford. I don't know. We've got the hard top. Picked it up. It's in the back now. <coughs> so for those that don't know, the parts I'm picking up on this trip are all for the Boxster. Now I, I kind of had a standstill here because uh, the guy I'm picking up my other parts from is going for lunch here. So i got to Got to wait a little bit. Drive this morning from Clinton to mm, a little north of Quinnell. It was snowing. Not super bad. I've driven in way worse. Um, but whatever the case is with the tires on this truck, back end didn't want to stay behind the front. Kept on walking around me. So that was a little bit fun, but you might not see that because GoPro just recorded black, so. Abbotsford. I uh, 
Got a good night's sleep. We had an Airbnb. Nothing fancy, but it was cheap and it was clean. And they had a shower I could use and a kitchenette. So that's really all you can ask for. Uh, that's all I asked for. That's the biggest thing for me is it, as long as it's clean. Anyways, we're, we're just leaving Abbotsford now. Hello. Um... It's actually, there's no traffic. I'm going to be way early. Whoops. So, today we're picking up the MGD parts, which, as nice as all this poor stuff is, I, I, I don't think I'll be as excited for it as I should be until I can put it on the bench, start piecing it together. It's not to say I'm not excited, I am. But it's hard to look at a pile of bolts and hardware and bars and really get excited but when it starts to take shape then I start getting excited right so but then so I, I went back for the MG and I read through the chat I had with the, this guy thank you Google and so what he's told me is that the fenders are in good condition all they need is paint, which is, if that's what I'm picturing in my head, they're, they're not rusty, they're not dented, then this is huge, especially for the price he was asking. Um, but I guess, I guess we'll find out. Um, man, cast is expensive here. Dollar seventy-seven a liter. I don't even know what that is per gallon. Yeah, so we're on our way now, and uh, I guess I'll get back with you when we're at the place for the MG parts. Okay guys, we got the MGB parts. Uh, it's a good thing I didn't bring my pop. I really wanted to bring her, but um, yeah, we're, we got a full load. <laughs> um, so the fenders are in great shape. They will need to be soda blasted. The, on the inside, they have just a little bit of surface rust. I mean, just a little not enough to be concerned about soda blast it'll come right out and they'll be great and they're nice and straight the doors i'm not sure what to think about the doors because they're very heavy i also got for 20 bucks a box of our parts fuel pumps and slave cylinders and master cylinders and and uh badging and stuff like that uh, chrome overriders that are new in bag, never been used, and they're in great shape. Um, he tried to sell me on a set of Rose style wheels, but eh, that's not what I want to put on my car, and Sarah's already got a set on Dad's. So um, let me grab my battery pack. We'll get it uh, wired up here, and then I'll take you all around the car and show you all of our haul. Okay, sorry about the terrible audio, but. It is what it is. So, trying to avoid stepping in the puddles. Starting from the back, working our way forward. We got our two fenders. They're in good shape. Also, if you guys are ever moving a ton of weird body parts like this, pool noodles, they work amazing for this. You can slide them down, slide, slice them down the middle and put them over corners and edges. You can put them between piles. They work really good. Okay, sorry about the terrible audio, but it is what it is. So, trying to avoid stepping in the puddles. Starting from the back, working our way forward. We got our two fenders. They're in good shape. 
Also, if you guys are ever moving a ton of weird body parts like this, pool noodles, they work amazing for this. You can slide them down, slide, slice them down the middle and put them over corners and edges. You can put them between piles. They work really good. Okay, so we also got our hard top for the porch. You can see we got the pool noodle uh, sliced so it's protecting the bottom edge. We've also got the two doors for the MG. And now that I'm looking at them, I don't think that I don't think they have Bondo. There's no caving in on the inside. And uh, the outer skin is uh, too thin to have any substantial amount of Bondo. Now we got the, this is the piece that covers the um, storage area for the soft top on the Porsche. This one covers the, this is the lightweight trunk and it is extremely light. The guy told me he used the steel frame, but tapping the back, it's, uh, it actually sounds like it's 100% fiberglass. But it's nice that it's got some structure to it because it means I can mount a wing to it if I ever get the car that far. Moving forwards, we've got all of the suspension parts for the Porsche. We got a steering wheel hub and a Sparco steering wheel. This is all teared engineering control arm assemblies. And here we've got the master cylinder from a Porsche 99 that's from a Porsche 996 GT3. Now I'm going to close the door before we get too much more rain in there because man is it coming down. Um, so yeah, everything's loaded up, seems reasonably secure. I went a little overkill with the uh, ratchet straps, but better too much than not enough. So we're gonna we're gonna get inside, get out of the rain, and then uh, carry on home.